Okay, so I picked up this uh, Blue Eddy EB55 as a supplemental power source for the van and for around the house. Um, basically, this is a 700 watt battery uh, that they claim will take a 1400 watt spike. And it's got lots of outlets. Uh, you have four AC outlets. You've got four USB, one micro USB. There's your inputs uh, for solar or AC or 12 volt. And then you've got uh, a 12 volt cigarette charger if you want to plug that in to charge. You also have a wireless charger on the top. Comes with a handle there to carry it around. Uh, it's well made. It's solid. It, it's heavy. It's got an internal fan to cool the batteries. Has a pretty nice little light that works really well for lighting up a campsite. It's got two different levels of brightness. Uh, that's low and then high. You're not going to really see it with the camera here, but it's pretty bright. And then, of course, you got the SOS mode in case you're stranded and seeking help. This will, you know, point that up at the sky. Airplanes will catch you and you'll, you'll be rescued in a matter of minutes. Uh, there's the fan to draw air across the internals and the batteries to keep it cool and that's pretty much the exterior I, I like this color it comes in a couple different colors i like the dark color it's just kind of neutral and goes with pretty much uh, everything so you uh you get the ac adapter to charge it which has got a pretty large brick of a um, you know adapter it's got its own fan that runs continuously when it's plugged in so you can charge the unit, you know, off your uh, your home, and then you also have a 12 volt adapter if you're in a, a vehicle that you want to charge it. Uh, that yellow port, and I'm mainly going to use my solar panel to charge this, so it comes with an adapter. All of these come with uh, the EB55. And that, then you get uh, some instructions. Pretty limited. There's not a lot of information here, but it goes over the basics. I still don't understand what eco mode is. They don't explain it. They tell you how to turn it on and off, but I don't see any reference to what eco mode actually does. And then again, they claim this is rated for 700 watts continuous with a surge of 1400, which I didn't see it capable of taking 1400 watt surges, but we'll go over that. You'll see me test it with a lot of things. So you can activate each individual bank, if you just want to use the USBs or the AC adapters, each one's got its own button. But let's go ahead and just jump in and see how this thing works. Okay, so we're going to try to make an omelet using the EB55. This omelet maker, I believe, is rated for around 700 watts. So this will be a good test. Uh, 750 watts. So let's find out if this thing can handle it. Let's do it. Turn this on. We've got, uh, according to the gauge, about 80% battery remaining. You ready for me to plug it in? Yes. All right. Plugged it in. Immediately, we're getting some fan noise, showing that it's drawing about 680 watts. Units illuminated. So go for it. Well, it's gonna heat up. Oh, it's gonna take a minute. Yeah. Okay. Well, when it we'll... turns green, we can. Okay. Well, we'll pause until that turns green. Okay. So it's been about what three minutes, and it's now green, and it's no longer drawing any power because it's got the thing up to temperature. So it's time to make an omelet. Let's do this. Wipe it out. Ooh, lots of smoke. Quick reference here, let's see what the... All right, here we go. We're in business. Okay, Google, set a timer for six minutes. Okay, six minutes, and we're starting. So yeah, we're doing pretty good. It's still at 
this uh, gauge isn't the most uh, detailed readout. It just goes in 20% uh, increments, but we're, uh, we're making an omelet. And that should kick, that went green, so this should kick off. We're back down to zero watts. And uh, thermally, you can kind of see what's going on here. Device is, uh, fan is no longer on, but uh, you can see where the hot spots are on the battery. And you can see that we're, uh, we're definitely cooking. Let's see how this looks. Gorgeous. Nice. So two omelets are complete. We're still at 80%. It cycled on and off several times, but uh, no issues making omelets. And it took us, what, 10 minutes? Whoops, it was... Oops. You broke the omelet. It was six minutes. Six minutes. Okay, so let's uh, let's see if the wireless uh, charging function works good with your iPhone. Okay, just put it right there. Until it, there it goes. It's detected it, and but that doesn't use very much power. <laughs> yeah, I'm not drawing much. I know with my Samsung, it was pulling like 15 watts. I think it Weird. claims to have a 15 watt wireless, but iPhones don't need that much power. <laughs> you want to try using your hair dryer? Okay. okay, let's see what happens. Start it on the lowest setting. Just go ahead and fire it up. Okay, so that's the fans at the lowest, the heat's at the lowest. We're hitting 600 watts. That's doable. <laughs> Just for fun, I'm going to go up one on the heat, and I'm afraid we're going to lose it. You know what's going to happen. Yep, yep. I tripped it. It went over 800. too far. <laughs> so, you can just... Press it again. <laughs> and trip it again. Alright. So we can use the hair dryer on low. <laughs> but we can't have coffee. No. No we coffee. We can uh, cook an omelet or an egg, boil some water. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're going to go ahead and try and make a cup of coffee using the EB55. Uh, we've powered up the AC output. You're going to go ahead and plug that in. To the, sure am. Yeah, it's exciting. Ready? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> Ready. here we go. We're in. Okay, so we've got water. Got a pot in there. Got oh, that power. Was cool. uh, don't you like it strong? Yes. Okay, moment of truth. Let's see if this thing will actually power up the coffee pot. Go for it. Because how many watts is this? We're going to find out. So far, we're not using Zero. any. No power. Yeah, it's very efficient. Oh, it's just, it's just cycling the pump. You excited? Extremely. Overload. Ooh, Ooh that's not a good sign. That's not a good sign. This might not work. We've overloaded it. Whoops. Yep. Coffee maker. This is a no go. We just wasted a pod. Alright, well, we're gonna try it again just for the heck of it. Maybe if we don't put the strong. Does that make a difference? Oh, oh. 
Nope. That is not going to work for the Keurig. I wonder how many watts the coffee maker is. So that's, that's not going to work. Nope. Okay, so now we're going to try with the induction, whatever brand this is, I don't even know what it's, whatever comes with the Winnebago Rebel. It's an induction uh, stove. We're plugged into the AC. We're going to go ahead and turn this thing on. Let's see if we got any kind of... Okay. So now we're drawing about 400 watts. We're 270. That would be number five. On the scale, but just go past you real quick. Okay, so the uh, stove goes from zero to I think it's ten. We're at five. Let's see what uh, six takes it to five hundred and eighty seven eight. Okay, eight tripped it out to overload so we're gonna go ahead and shut it off turn it back on so she is completely wigged out here showing zero watts out the battery showing zero I'm gonna go ahead and unplug it it's working <laughs> it's working but it shows that we have a capacity of zero which is not good where's it say that uh here on the uh, oh i see oops well, seven was no seven was a bad number seven was too much and we've done it again, done it again. overload so six is Let's just reboot this thing and see what happens. All right, so let's just, uh, even though it's saying zero, and I'm not sure how we clear that, but we're gonna figure it out. We're gonna go ahead and just fire it up. So what did we say, seven? Six is the max. All right, so six. 581 watts. Yeah. You'd be cooking. I mean, if it was on heat, that would be 270. It would take you a while to cook, but you could cook with that, right? Mm -hmm. A little concerned why it's completely zapped out and it's got a battery icon with a red mark there, but uh, it's still working. All right, well, this experiment's over. Okay, so after I got that weird low voltage warning, I just plugged it back into the AC adapter for about maybe seven minutes and it reset the battery showed full voltage and everything was fine so i don't know what happened there but that was kind of weird it definitely didn't deplete the entire battery in three seconds but it tripped something up after i charged it everything was fine okay so we're going to try it now with uh the cur uh, what is this cuisinart cuisinart okay so we've plugged this one in to this and we'll be able to prove that here we're just gonna do hot water and see what happens. Immediately overloaded it. So, 
no coffee with with the uh, Cuisinart, and we're not on uh, Cuisinart. We're not on eco mode. It just maxed out, so we'll stop there. All right, so now we're gonna try it with this smaller Breville espresso maker, whatever you want to call it, and see if we can get it to uh, work. We're gonna power it up. Boom. Overload. So that's not gonna happen. All right, so let's uh, let's try plugging this gaming laptop in. It's uh, running on its own battery right now. Let's see what happens when we uh, try and charge it with the EB55. Not bad. It's only drawing 60 watts. 70. Okay, so we got a couple mini griddles that we're going to try and plug in and make some eggs. We've already got one plugged in. Let's see here. Cranking out 600 watts. Seems to be holding steady. These little guys will... Alright, eggs are done. 600 watts worked. We're going to shut this off, but hasn't gone down at all on the percentage. And that's... Uh, that's a high quality egg right there. All right, so that's my review. Uh, pretty good little device, handy in a camper for laptops, um, drones, phones, small electrical devices. I love that I can charge it with my solar panel and uh, gonna be handy to have at the campsite. We'll probably use it for cooking and uh, things like that. And it's gonna be handy at the house, so. Uh, as always, thanks for watching, and uh, no need to thumbs up, subscribe, like, any of that. Just appreciate you watching. Hope this was helpful.